All right, Sundown SCV 3000D. This is the brand new model that we got in from Woofers, etc. Have it hooked into our 14 volt bank of batteries. We're gonna try one ohm certified. Got the batteries freshly charged. Should be able to keep it around 14.4 at the end of the test. 40 hertz track, certified up to 1% THD. My name is Derek and I do YouTube videos about audio equipment, videos about audio. I know it doesn't make sense, but if you guys enjoy that type of stuff, you might enjoy subscribing to my channel and I'd appreciate it. So stick around for the cool content and don't be surprised if you see a big dummy. What's up guys, BD Wiz here. Today we're gonna do a follow-up test to the Sundown SCV-3000D. So our first test, we got some feedback uh, actually feedback directly from Sundown saying that um, must have been something wrong with the amplifier because their prototype test and earlier tests had shown the amplifier does 3000 watts at 13.6 volts and should do more uh, at 14 volts. So uh, what we decided to do was from the help of one of our subscribers who purchased this amp and had it shipped to me, um, got a brand new Sundown SCV 3000D and I'm going to run a test one ohm and going to do certified uncertified and dynamic but the main test is the certified test to see if the other amp was a problem or if this is what's to be expected with these amps now again i don't care this is not to bash sundown if it does the same or whatever if it does different i'm obviously going to apologize for the first test you know there being a problem with the amp which how how am i to know i just test the amps and show the results. Um, but if it does the same as the other amp I tested, I'm not, no further comment is needed, I don't think. So I'm not gonna say anything else. But if it does do better and it's noticeably different, I will publicly apologize to Sundown. So stay tuned and let's see what it does. All right, this one's serial number 1802026. And this is the new one I just got in. And I'm gonna show you, here is the first one that I tested. See this, two amps. Here is the other serial number just to compare maybe QA for sundown one seven zero six zero one eight three I think it is really hard to read maybe you guys can see it better than I can but this is the original one I tested this is the new one so I'm gonna get the uh, dual inputs hooked up and then make sure the gains are set properly and we're gonna test it Ten dB overlap. All right, gains are set. All right, here we're gonna show. Here's the ground going straight in here. It's dual one alt. Here is the power cables. You can see they go down and come up right here, going into the bank of batteries as well. Here are the probes for the dyno. Here are the cables, speaker cables, that go into the front of the dyno. And we're gonna jump these together. So that way <clears throat> we have double the capacity here through the eight gauge wires. And we're bridging or paralleling the banks together inside the dyno. And you can see the amp is on. The gains have been set to a 10 dB overlap for a test. And yeah, all we gotta do is really hook up the clamp if we wanna see the measurement. I'm more concerned about the wattage than I am the amperage, but still, 
I hook the clamp up so that we can see how much current it pulls. We're going to try the one ohm run. So here we go. All right, Sundown SCV 3000D. This is the brand new model that we got in from Woofers, etc. Have it hooked into our 14 volt bank of batteries. We're going to try one ohm certified. Got the batteries freshly charged. Should be able to keep it around 14.4 at the end of the test. 40 hertz track certified up to 1% THD. Twenty nine ninety four, fourteen point three eight volts. So that's literally right at three thousand watts, right at fourteen point four, and that's what it's rated. So it did that. It's not underrated by any means, but it does rated power. All right, Sundown SCV three thousand D. Can try one ohm certified. It's rated three thousand watts. At 1 ohm, 14.4, let's see what we get. 14.4. All right, we got 3,000 watts, but we required a little bit more than 14.4, 14.62 volts. All right, here are the results of both amps. You can see amp number one got 3,004 watts. Amp two got 2,994. <laughs> That's literally a point three three percent difference in these two amps so virtually identical all right here's the new sundown scv 3000 d we're going to try it uncertified of the clipping at one ohm 40 hertz all right 3287 at 14 volts and you saw the current pull there so at clipping, it does well over 3,000 watts. All right now, we're going to try the dynamic power of this new Sundown SCV3000D. 1 ohm, 40 hertz. All right, 38.23. 14.45 volts. All right, guys, there you have the second test of the second SCV3000D. You can see 29.94 at 1% THD, 32.87 at clipping, and 38.23 dynamic. Now we're going to go back to the I Just Want to Bang group on Facebook where we got some comments from the Sundown owner, Jacob Fuller, saying that all SCV series meter exceed below 13 volts and well so here's test one test two two different amps two different serial numbers and we got virtually identical numbers so i didn't make a big deal out of it on the first test you know i was just showing people what results i got sundown was the ones that said that my test was wrong so here you go just proving my test is not wrong two different amps same power big d whiz until next time I'm out of here. All right, friends, Sundown Audio, SCV-3000D. I'm going to try half an ohm burst, 40 hertz. All right. So the amp went into protect. So that's good. At least it went into protect and didn't blow up. But as you can see, it did not like the half ohm test. <laughs>